Hey everyone, this is Rakesh here and today I'm going to tell you how exactly we will prepare the resume. Yes, you heard right. How exactly we will prepare the resume. That is the topic which we are going to discuss in this session. But before that, I would like to tell that what exactly we have discussed in our last session. So in our last session, we have discussed how exactly we will find the internship program for the IT student. So that is the thing which we have discussed in the, our last session. And if you have missed and if you didn't watch my last video, then please, please go and watch my last video in that I have explained how exactly you can find the internship program. Okay, guys. So let's begin with the out today session, which is your how exactly we will prepare the resume. So on that side, what I can say that we have two type of resume nowadays. One is your paper resume, which is nothing but your word file. Okay. Now second one is which, which is your video resume. Yes, you heard right. Video resume, video resume. Okay. So, and that is the thing is going in trend and many, many companies are accepting only the video resume video now you can say that what is the video resume video resume is nothing but whatever profile you have and whatever the things you mention in the your paper resume that is the thing you have to make in the form of video so that is the thing which we are going to discuss in the next video but in this video we will discuss only uh, how exactly we will prepare the paper resume so that is the thing which we are going to see in this session so let's see how exactly we will prepare the paper resume so guys, let's start with the our today's discussion. So I have taken this uh, sample resume and I have prepared this resume. Uh, keep in mind that you have data analytics skill and only for the R. You can change this resume as per the your skill set. And uh, guys, uh, let's begin with the our today's session. So as you can see over here, uh, you uh, you have to mention your name over here contact number and the email id in this format you can change this format but i would suggest this is nice and the descent format now after that moving on to the next section which is your objective objective please don't waste your time too much on the objective whatever the predefined line you will get in the other resume or as you can see over here same thing you can copy paste nobody will question on that moving on to the next one which is your summary profile summary so on this section you have to spend uh, as much as possible and you have to write this section very carefully and you, you over here only expose or you can say I can say that express whatever you want to express over here or whatever you want to write over here write over here and write a big big sentence and high highly weight, uh, valuable or I can say the weightage uh, sentences just like proficient very good very good exposure something kind some some kind some some, some this kind of sentences you have to write uh, but I, I haven't tried that much great sentences because my English is not that much great okay I know your English is very good so you can write in your own language and your own skill set so please please correct whatever you want to do in the resume okay so coming back to the my profile summary section so guys as i already told this uh, resume i prepared for the data analytics guys and for the r uh, using the r data analytics okay so as as the as you can see over here uh, i mentioned proficient in sql query and plsql program writing in the sql environment something that like that you have to write uh, basic understanding of the Unix operating system something that something like that and over here you can mention whatever the skill you have just like uh, core Java .NET, HTML CSS whatever you have you can mention over here but over here I have mentioned the data analytics predictive modeling using the R studio and guys whatever the you want to highlight you can bold it over here so this is how you need to do the uh, profile summary for the first three points now moving on to the next one which is your good understanding this is the same for the data analytics okay so you can mention as per the your skill set which i will not discuss in detail all these points this point is also same now moving on to the next one which is your basic understanding of the agile methodology so guys nowadays the development is in the agile methodology so i would suggest uh, take any video from the youtube and watch agile methodology what exactly the agile methodology if you understand the 10 percent also then it will be 
मोर देन सफिशेंट एंड एक्सप्लेन वॉट एग्जैक्टली द अजाइल मेथोडोलॉजी हाउ डू वी वर्क द एंड इफ यू एबल टू एक्सप्लेन दैम एंड इफ यू नो अजाइल मेथोडोलॉजी एंड इफ यू कन्विंस द इंटरव्यूअर वॉट एग्जैक्टली द अजाइल मेथोडोलॉजी दैन इट विल गिव द बिग एम्पैक्ट ओके सो गैस प्लीज प्लीज वॉच द अजाइल मेथोडोलॉजी वीडियोज ऑन द यूट्यूब आई डोंट हैव अजाइल मेथोडोलॉजी वीडियोज ऑन द माई चैनल बट यू कैन चेक एट अदर चैनल्स एज वेल ओके सो यू हैव यू कैन मैंशन if you are aware with the agile methodology and uh, moving on to the next one which is your deep understanding regarding the software development environment or again the software development process like the requirement analysis system study design coding testing and all these thing and guys this point when you can write you are aware with the software development process then only then write this and if you uh, uh, and on this point i have made uh, around uh, 10 videos on this and watch that video and you can mention that video uh, that sentence this sentence okay uh, let me show you that videos uh, you can go in the my channel and you can find this software development process oh, for that i have mentioned around 10 to 12 videos watch all these videos and mention this sentence this sentence deep understanding of the uh, software development process so if you watch all these 10 to 20 uh, 12 videos then you will understand how exactly the software develop in the industry and you can confidently write this sentence so please please go and watch my this series in this series i have explained all the uh, software development process or i can say that software development process how exactly the software develop in the it industry that is the thing i have explained and this is the step by step process i have followed okay moving on to the next one which is your you can mention over here your quality as i mentioned over excellent in presenting and make people understand so this is the thing which we you need to write in short what i can say that whatever the skill set and whatever the good things you have that things you have to mention in the profile summary and use the a good words good sentence which will give the impact just like i have mentioned but again it can be better okay moving on to the next section which is your skill so guys in a skill you have to give this uh, fields key skill database operating system and tool in key skills what you need to mention what exactly skills you have or i can say the primary skills just like over here i mentioned sql pl sql predictive modeling using r so this is i have mentioned because this is the data analytics resume but in your case it can be differ it you can mention over here core java advanced java dot net angular js node js php whatever you want to write write over here whatever the your primary skill in database what database you know okay and in operating system what operating system you know and in tools what tools you know as you can see over here defect tracking tools i have mentioned jira mentees have quality center and guys please go through one hour of video of jira or quality center mentees have how exactly we will open the defect and all these things and all these things i have explained in the my videos whatever the series i have shown you just right now in that i have explained all these things so if you watch all that videos then you will come to know what exactly these tools are okay uh so this is what you need to mention in the skill section now moving on to the next one which is your education so in education you have to make uh, this kind of uh, table over here you have to mention your degree or school okay and uh, depending upon the your uh, university you, whether you want to ma mention the university name board name college name school name and guys over here i just want to tell that whatever the good thing is with you that thing you have to mention let's say for example your university is good then mention the university name if your uh, college is good then mention the college name so this is how you need to uh, like uh, showcase yourself in a good way bad things hide okay so whatever the things uh, good with you mention that thing over here whether it is university college or school or board okay depending upon the your situation now moving on to the next one which is your percentile uh, whether you have a percentile or that uh, grades which you can mention over here and guys one more thing i would like to tell that if you have a less percentage in the your 10th then you can hide it 
okay nobody will ask if somebody will ask then we will mention that okay moving on to the next one which is your project details so guys you have done the minor project and major project so mention that projects over here so over the over here what all the uh, like uh, key points or key uh, headlines you have to do so this is specific to the uh, data analytics uh, resume okay let me think uh, the very generic uh, uh, headlines or generic uh, project uh, which is core java some uh, hotel stay website okay so over here technical competency what technology you have used in that project so that is the thing you have to mention over here after that you have to write the short description what exactly the project is you do not need to write in the description uh, section what is your responsibility or i can say that what exactly you have done you should you should not write all these things you are not supposed to write all these things in the description section for that we have a key responsibility section in that you have you can write whatever you have done as as a, as is you can see over here the prepare uh, preparing the requirement document pre uh, presenting demo in college writing front end code including html css page identifying test scenarios and text execution and same thing so these these are the points you have to mention uh, and guys uh, you these things may be new for you uh, what is the test case test scenario all these things i have mentioned all these things in the my previous video please please go and watch all these videos in that you will understand what exactly this is okay guys so in short what i can say that you have to mention the technical competency in technical competency what you need to write you need to write the what technology you have used and in in description what is the project and key responsibility what you have played the role in that project so that thing you have to mention in the key responsibility okay Moving on to the next one, which is your training section. So in training section, you have to mention the training uh, which you have attended. Okay, after that, uh, extracurricular activities, I can say over here, leadership quality is not a right word. Okay, over here, so over here you can mention. Now, after that, you have to mention your personal detail and some declaration. So this is how you need to prepare the resume. I hope you have understood how exactly we will prepare the resume. And guys, in next session, or I can say the next video, we will understand how exactly we will prepare the video resume, which is in trend nowadays okay guys i hope you have understood all these things and if you like the video then please hit the like button share it and if you want to get the regular update on my channel then don't forget to smash my subscribe button so smash my subscribe button thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care